Aloha from the Big Island of Hawaii. This is going to be my uh, first aid kit. And it's this cheap China bag that I got everything in right now. And as a matter of fact, it was had been a gift. The, well, not everything that's in it. I kept throwing stuff in there. But uh, anyway, ignore the talking in the background. There's some event on the pier. But the bag looks cool. It's from China. But, uh, you know, as I was... Well, it says it's from Tarzana, but inside it says made from China. And uh, actually, the damn strap broke as soon as I picked it up today. So, <laughs> as far as the bag goes, gotta get a new one. But uh, let's just look at what's in it. Into the pen. That kind of big marker. Head. Let's see. Got some stuff in here. Gauze pad, some of this stuff looks old, but I don't know, I haven't even looked at it in a while. Sterile gauze pads, pad of the pad, another sterile pad, soft absorbent, this looks better sealed than the other one. I can see the cheap one says made in China, sterilized in the USA, the good one says made in the USA. <laughs> Alright, well, adhesive bandages, tongue depressors, and first aid instructions on how to do stuff in an emergency. Lots of band aids, tweezers, and tongue depressors, basically. Alright, back in there, real quick. With those Chinese gauzes. <laughs> in case you run out of other gauzes. Alright. Toothpaste. Hand sanitizer, Purell, hand towels, towelettes. Alright. Stuff has an expiration date that has expired, so some of this stuff needs to be updated. It's a good reason for me to do this. Oh, this is still good. Band-Aid waterproof tape. Another uh, uh, beeswax, uh, lip balm, jabs to kind of deal. A straw, toothbrush, more lip balm, aloe vera. Another straw, another straw. Probably some expired uh, sunscreen. Visine eye drops. Put them in handy. Two floss. Alright. What else have I got in here? Band aids, gauzes. That's a large, medium. I just keep it in the boxes because it keeps it from getting poked with something. Uh, some kind of medium strength gloves, garden gloves, something. Nitro gauze, disposable nitro gloves. Insect repellent, 100. Suppose that is deep, yeah. Active ingredient, 90% DEEP. Uh, emergency electrolytes, vitamins. A few packets of that in there. Neosporin, it's a spray on kind. That's still good. More off DEEP mosquito repellent. Emergency survival blanket. Insect bite relief, bite med. Yeah. Okay, quick clot. Hopefully you never really have to use this because this stuff gets in your arteries and into your heart. It won't be good. So, But if you're going to bleed out, then I've got some. Say your aspirin. Hydrocortisone. You need to check the dates on all this stuff. Hydrocortisone, maximum strength. Safety goggles. Ibiclans, uh, basically, that's um, it's a, it's a blue bottle with soap. 
And basically what the soap is, it's, it's chlorhexidine gluconate, and it, uh, it's a little bottle of it. And the surgeons use that before they have to operate. So if you got to operate and need this effect, that's what that's for, hit the cleanse. Ah, Band-Aids, antibacterial bandages, performance series, I don't know. Pretty large size, looks like. It's antibiotic. Pop right on there. Right. Uh, got some uh, medical tools. And a baggie that I'm an expert on. I've been opening the bag, apparently. <laughs> it's sealed so well, it doesn't open. Come on, people. Yep. It's got these uh, basically clamper deals on, on, on these tweezers. So you can set it and forget it. This one is straight and not curved. Same deal. They're tweezers. Alright, so some minor medical tools. You need to operate. You aren't completely in the dark. Alright. Good luck building that. More strong strip band-aids. Uh, and a first aid kit. What have I got on the side before I open the first aid kit? Oh, yeah. I took that um, MRA knife out of my bug out bag because it was too heavy and I put it in my medical bag so knife with all kinds of with the wine cork you never know when you need to anesthetize your patient with a bottle of wine all right and so what's in here uh, instant cold compress more bandages swabs gauze pads, you know, sterile non-woven. I'm beginning not to like the made in the U.S. Made in China, sterilized in the USA stuff, I don't know. But, whatever came with the bag, because the whole kit was made in China, and I'm going to have to get a new bag. So like I said, here's another sterile gloves. Not nitrile, though. More tongue depressors. A big sterile, a couple of big 4x4, uh, 4, four, four ply made in China kind of bags, emergency instructions, first aid, what's in this bag? More tools, another uh, scissors, shears, I don't open that one's worth opening, another, um, well these are kind of weird tweezers, uh, these are for suturing, I think these are the, I only knew how to suture, I'm going to have to take a class on that or something, but uh, yeah, it's got these, uh, this thing for suturing, um, and uh, shears. Looks like halfway decent ones. Alright. I probably didn't come with a kit, I probably put that in there at some point. What's in this clutch? Tape, band aids, more band aids, alcohol prep pad, alcohol prep pad, antibiotic ointment. Band-Aids, Quick Clean, and Septic Hand Wipes, and yeah, that's about it for my first aid kit dump. Seems like everybody else had better bags than, than me, or better bags and better stuff, but that's what I got, so I'm going to probably find, try and find a better bag. Everybody, a lot of people that are watching other people's uh, first aid videos had also a smaller kit that you can carry around, I don't, I don't know. Um, have to uh, see what I can do to make some improvements. If you guys got any suggestions, let me know. It's Y Volcano Squad. And that's it. I'm out.